Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is always really good to see. And also we have the Hierophant, which is you. So you are coming through. Your energy is always very, very strong here. Um, honestly, Taurus, I feel like you are at this moment right now where maybe you, I feel like you're working with somebody um, that has a, not a, not a completely different way of doing something, but it's, there's a new way of doing something. And I feel like you may be either learning how to work with this person and their new way of doing something, or you could be kind of realizing that you don't necessarily um, have to do something just because it exists or because it's an option. I don't know why, but lately I've been getting this very entrepreneurial, independent energy from you. And I feel like it's just the wave that you're on. Uh, we are in Taurus season. I just feel like right now you're in your prime. You're in your uh, peak energy, so to speak. So a lot of the things that you're doing are coming from a very genuine place. It's like your core is ignited, right? Like you are aligned with the sun right now, Taurus. And with that comes a sense of, you know, feeling like yourself, feeling powerful, feeling independent. And all of that comes with just, you know, this um, very strong leadership ability. And I say leadership because normally we see the emperor, which is Aries, and we think, okay, you know, they're they're leaders and they're go-getters and they're determined. And then it's like the Taurus is also like that. In fact, Taurus becomes a leader when they are, you know, comfortable in a space. And I feel like, you know, when you're comfortable, Taurus, you are probably the best person to be a leader. And I think that for, for right now, what's happening is with this Ten of Cups, it's like you are entering a place or a time or an environment where you're finding your comfort and someone may be intimidated by how powerful you are becoming in that place and in that position. So I'm not trying to make it seem like there's a rivalry or like there's anything like that. It just feels like you're on top of the world and some people may be noticing, you know, we have the Emperor, we have the King of Swords, but then we have the Hierophant, you know, this is you. We have the Three of Cups, which is also interesting because it kind of alludes to a three-party type of situation or something where there's like multiple people involved. It's a team thing, but it's like, Taurus, right now you are the one who's really finding themselves in this place and thriving. So let's, let's just see. Let's go ahead and clarify the Hierophant. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you are embracing the Queen of Pentacles energy, regardless of your gender. This is not about gender. This is about what she embraces, what she embodies, what she is. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is the most independent in that she is a divine feminine energy that does not need anything but herself and, and nature, right? The world around her to do what she has to do. I feel like she can really make the most out of her resources. And right now, because you are in a place where you feel comfortable, you may be making the most out of your resources and it could be bringing you to a, a state or a position where things are just easy. And when things are easy for you and maybe not so easy for other people, you know, there's always that tension in the air. But honestly, I feel like you don't have much to worry about. I feel like if anything, the universe is pushing you and motivating you to just keep doing what you're doing. Um, we have the Ten of Swords right behind the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe there is a little bit of that feeling of, you know, I don't know, maybe someone is making you feel a certain way. I'm not sure, but we have the Page of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Death card to further clarify your energy. So maybe you're connecting to a Scorpio. Maybe right now this is about a relationship. You know, maybe this is about something that you um, feel like you don't have to defend, but you're you're just defending it anyway. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like for a lot of you, this could be about the fact that you have recently ended a cycle 
because you realize that you don't necessarily need to be in that cycle anymore and someone didn't believe you when you said you were leaving or someone felt like you were going to stay no matter what it's kind of like someone called your bluff of independence you know and i feel like with that page of swords you're proving everyone wrong by choosing to go your own way uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that deep either i don't know it there's a lot of ways to see this so let's just go ahead and clarify the three of cups This could be about the workplace too where it's like you may be finding your groove and and you know the people around you or someone specifically is like we can't let taurus can't let taurus win but it's like you've already won it's there's there's no competition here this is a no contest situation taurus you've already you know beat the pack it just kind of feels like someone expected you not to or i don't know we have the queen of swords um i feel like right now communication might be the most telling um you know to kind of bring light to the situation i feel like what you need to know is that your success is secured because for some reason you may be feeling worried that the people or the energies around you right now are trying to you know prey on your downfall it's not going to happen it's not going to work i feel like you're divinely guided at this time you're divinely protected i mean again you are aligned with the sun no one can touch you so we have the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Fool. I feel like Universe is saying, don't worry about it. Take that chance. Be free. Be happy. Be joyful. This opportunity, this abundance, this success, it's still yours. No one can take that away. Even this Four of Pentacles, there's this feeling of protecting it, right? It is protected. It is guarded. Imagine that your abundance, your success, and your happiness is enclosed in a dome. And no one can penetrate that dome but you. So I really hope that that sinks in because if there's even a little bit of worry or concern because of other people, it's time to let that go. Let's clarify the emperor. Six of wands, there it is. There's your success. Your success is guaranteed. Not even the emperor can can bring that or take that away from you to further clarify the emperor though we do have the universe card the knight and the hermit which is virgo so i feel like for you your success is happening under wraps um it's happening you know unbeknownst to everyone else i feel like that's part of your journey though is you are entering a time where you have done so much work and you've done it for yourself you haven't done it to impress anyone else but you and i feel like a lot of people live their lives trying to impress other people and when they see someone um maybe you're an example of this right now taurus where it's like you've done so much work just for you you haven't asked anyone for any kind of validation any kind of nothing right the universe is is giving you something because it has recognized your efforts but I feel like with the night card, it's happening in the darkness. It's happening in silence. It's it's not being, you know, kind of like on display. And that is, I think, the, I think that's the pinnacle of it. Is like you're surprising everyone from just, I mean, no one could expect it. No one has, um, I don't know how to say it correctly. Because to say that no one could expect it doesn't sound right either. I'm sure that a lot of people that know you very closely could expect a lot of the things that you're accomplishing. I guess I'm talking about the people that don't know anything, right? Who, in fact, don't have any reason to have any kind of opinion. But honestly, I just feel like you are just really showing up here for yourself. You're, you're, you're a success in your own right. Whatever this is about, whether this is in your career, your personal life, home life, whatever the case is, your, that shadow work, that work that you've done within, it is starting to pay off major dividends because the universe is now rewarding you with all of the things that are happening at this time and yeah maybe it happened in the night right maybe maybe you went through a dark night of the soul and that's where most of this work was done but now now it's being shown in other ways now people are noticing your success but not how you got there and i feel like there's something to that um 
This is interesting. I think I'm going to leave it there before I get more philosophical, but really love this for you. Hope you take it all in, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.